there's been this enormous increase in inequality, uh, and it has uh, multiple, multiple dim dimensions. Uh, there, there is uh, more money uh, at the top. Uh, at the beginning, uh, I, I mean, in Reagan, when Reagan in 1980 started pushing for the kinds of changes in economic policy, uh, it was a, there was an awareness that those policies would lead to more, more inequality. Um, the idea was that uh, you lower tax rates at the top and you uh, free up the economy, you deregulate. And the hope was, the idea was that it would, yes, there would be more inequality, but the size of the pie would increase so much so that everybody, even those in the middle and the bottom, would be better off. They would get a bigger piece, even if they got a smaller share. Well, we've had a third of a century now of this experiment. And we can see the outcome. They were right that it would increase inequality. Uh, and the share going to the top 1% has gone to numbers between 20 and 25%. Uh, that's a two-fold increase. And the share going to the top one-tenth of 1% 1 has increased three to four-fold. But unfortunately, this idea of trickle-down economics that everybody would benefit is absolutely wrong. And what has actually happened is median income, income in the middle, has stagnated. Income at the bottom it's even worse. So in the middle, income today, the median income of, uh, in the United States, adjusted for inflation, is lower than it was a quarter of a century ago. And at the bottom, the minimum wage has not increased for 45 years. So I think that an economic system that doesn't increase standards of living for a majority of its citizens over a period of a quarter century, and at the bottom, has people worse off than they were almost 50 years ago, is a failed economic system.